This video will show you how to use the power search filter on a TS-16, TS-60 or MS-60 instrument. The power search filter is really easy to use and allows the instrument to scan the surrounding area for targets or any other reflective objects. When the instrument later makes a power search then these targets and objects are ignored. A lot of time is saved since the instrument will find the prism on the pole a lot quicker. The power search filter can be activated from the instrument itself or when working robotically from the CS20 field controller or CS35 tablet. Firstly, let's assume the instrument has been set up using the setup app and is ready to be used. Before using the power search filter, hide the prism on the pole so it is not found by mistake and added to the filter. To use the filter, simply press the aim and search icon and choose filter learn. A message is shown saying that the instrument will turn three times. Press OK and the instrument will turn, storing the location of all targets or other reflective objects it finds. It takes around 10 seconds for one turn and in total around 30 seconds. It is possible to interrupt the search at any time. If the search is interrupted, all the targets which have been found are remembered. The user can now put the prism back on the pole and taps the aim and search icon. The option to power search to the left or right is chosen and the instrument will find the user's prism and ignore all previously found targets. Using the power search filter has reduced the time taken for the instrument to find the user. Of course, should the instrument lose lock to the prism on the pole, simply repeat the power search and as before, all of the targets and reflective surfaces are ignored. If needed, the power search filter can be turned off and on. Again tap the aim and search icon and press filter off. This will switch off the power search filter and power search will no longer ignore any prisms. The filter can be switched on again by pressing filter on. So in summary, the power search filter is a simple way of saving a lot of time in locking onto a prism. Thanks for watching.